Hey guys, Florida Sports Fan 18 here, and I'm back for another video. And this is going to be the Bills versus Dolphins 2021 preview week. So now I'm getting into this game. Uh, well, every time we play the Bills, we lose every time. But because we lost to these guys five straight times, Brian Flores is 0 4 against the Bills, never beaten them yet. But that's going to change. Definitely gonna change. Now I know we're underdogs in this game, but I think we can win. And yes, we'll, and also if you guys heard the news today, Will Fuller is gonna be out. Not that he's injured; it's personal issues. Something's going on. I don't know what it is, but he's gonna be out. But I still think, and it's gonna be the same receiving core that we had against New England. And so maybe I'm hoping Preston Williams is gonna be back Sunday. There's a good chance he will play. It's still questionable, but I'm hoping he plays Sunday. But I don't know when Will Fuller will be back. I'm hoping maybe he'll be back for the Raiders game, but we'll see what happens. But getting into this game, definitely, like, the way that how we stopped the run last week, we have to fix up on defense and need to stop the run, especially the way that we've been getting burned on Josh Allen, like five straight losses to him, giving up 30 more, more, 30 more points. This time, I don't want to give up 30 points. This time, I want to beat the Bills. This is like one of our toughest games. And here's one of the, this is one of our toughest games this year on the schedule right here. One of the toughest games. Definitely. Division game. I want to go up, I want to win this game, go up 2 to nothing, go 2-0 and and be up two games against them. Because that's the one team I'm really, the one that nervous me is about is, is really the one that is the Bills are really... After they've been a contender for a Super Bowl team who really were a little bit of a shock last week when they lost to the Steelers. But I want to see us win this game. Tua needs to play a good game as well, too. I want to see some more plays with Jalen Waddle in there. Definitely, and I'm not too sure if the Bills' defense like is not really... like. I don't know if they're really that good. The defense, really, like if they're like, I can't really say too much about it. I'm not too sure. Like they're not the worst defense, and they're not the best defense. But we see what happens. Really, that kind of really shocked me about losing to the Steelers. That I did not expect that was going to happen. But hey, new season. Like I said, I want to see Tua play a big game. Like I said, it's a game that we can win, and I know we're underdogs in this game. But I really have confidence we can win this game. I know it's going to be a tough game to win. Even though, because like I said, through the years, like, I think this really started in, I believe, 2000, like since 2010s that we've been having our issues of beating the Bills. So definitely, I know this is a tough game, but like I said, it's a game we can win. And plus, and we need to win this game because... It's because it's in Miami, and this is a chance to win this game. Because now, if we lose this game, we're gonna probably get. There's a good chance we get swept by the Bills. Because after this one, the next game we time we play, that we're gonna be they're gonna be in Buffalo, in which we can never win in Buffalo. So, I'm not saying never, but we can't win that much in Buffalo, really. But definitely, I want to see Brian Forrest get his first win against the Bills. Definitely gotta say, definitely, and also we gotta and also too, Xavier Howard definitely needs to. Definitely got to have Xavier Howard guard Stephon Diggs. So the last time they played them in Miami, Stephon Diggs was burning that defense. So definitely Xavier Howard definitely needs to stay on Stephon Diggs. Who else they got? Emmanuel Sanders. I'm not too worried. He's old. Can't do too much really. So definitely that. Watch out for Josh Allen because I know this guy is good at running. And he's really good at making some good deep plays. So definitely. And they got some good receiving core. So, And I know they're going to be really are going to be desperate for a win after that disappointing loss they had last week against the Steelers. So, definitely that's what we got to watch out for. And I want to win this game so we can go send the Bills 0-2 and 2, and, 2, and we can be 2-0 and have a chance and get up a top, uh, two games on top of them and be 2-0 right now in that division because this is another important game. So, one we got out of the way against the Patriots was one point, important one. But definitely... We can, like I said, we can win this game. Like, Tua needs to play a big game. Definitely got to make some really good plays out there. 
and also cannot make that same mistake and get thrown up in the grabs even though that interception was not his fault last week but definitely no mistakes this time and definitely the defense needs to put a lot of pressure on Josh Allen and make sure this guy doesn't run really that doesn't run or gets big yardage like he's been doing because the Bills like I want to say something about the Bills if they didn't play the Chiefs last year, if they didn't play the Chiefs in the playoffs last year in that AFC Championship game, game they probably would have been in the Super Bowl. They probably would have, they would have definitely would have made it to the Super Bowl, even if, if they don't know if they'll win or not. But they would have definitely could have made it to the Super Bowl if they did not play the Chiefs. But it's a game, like I said, we can win. I have confidence in this team. I know that we're going to be underdogs in NFL, and a lot of people on NFL Network rumor, rumor people that are doing their picks are saying that we can de that we there's no chance we can win this game, but I'm being confident in my team and no, thinking we can win this game. Like I said, we can win this game. We just can't make no mistakes, no stupid penalties we can do. Definitely got to take advantage. And let's try to get some long ball control men in there keep Josh Allen off the field cuz last week we our defense was on the field most of the whole game yet last week, and we didn't the offense didn't do too much because, um, but it was mostly all the defense. But at least they made a statement. And if anyone doesn't know, we actually have 23 straight games with a takeaway with the defense. So let's keep that streak going to get some takeaways on Josh Allen. Like I said, put a lot of pressure on this guy. Let's give them. Let's give the send them to zero and two because if we don't win this game, I'm gonna just tell you already. If we don't win this game, we're gonna get swept by the Bills again this year, like we did the last two years. Like I said, because we lost five straight to them, and like I said, five straight. Like I said, let's end this already. Let's end the streak and let's beat this team. I want to beat the Bills. I want to prove that we can be a contender this year. That we can be a good team. And like I said again, we're gonna have to do it again without Will Fuller. But I still got confidence in this team. Definitely, let's win this game. Let's let's go in as an underdog and let's finish strong and prove everything everybody wrong that we can beat a good team. Like uh, definitely, we can do this. Like I said, this team I know I have confidence in. Like I said, Brian Flores believes in this team. I want to see us win this game. Game. So let's do this, guys. Let's get the, let's get the win on Sunday at one o'clock game. I'm looking forward to it, and I'm hoping we can get the win. I want to see some more Jalen Waddle, Waddle in there. Any other receiver? Parker stepping up again because Parker's played pretty good. But like I said, don't want to give up 30 points to them again. This time it ends with 30 points. We're not giving up. And get we also want to get revenge on them after they cost us the playoffs after we finished off a good season and they, we had the hardest game and they cost us when Josh Allen didn't even need to play when the Steelers were resting their starters still in that game when we played them last year, Week 17. So a lot of revenge I want to get on these, to this team. So let's get the win. And fins up, fins up, everyone. And I'm Flora Sports on 18 here. You guys all have a good night. Bye, guys.